Hi friends, uh, I wanted to talk about, uh, what is the word? Um, hi friends, I wanted to talk about obtaining free-ish batteries out of uh, old electronics uh, that you can do stuff with. Uh, most electronics will come with uh, flat pack lithium polymer batteries, which are the exact same thing as 18650 cells, except these are flat and folded, and these are flat and then round and then rolled and in, put into a metal case, whereas these don't have a metal case and they're very easy to puncture. So we have to be very careful when removing them. Usually, there's adhesive on the bottom, and the best way to get rid of that adhesive is take to some, take something like an old debit card or whatever, and just slowly push through that adhesive. You do not want to, you want to make sure to do the best job that you can to not misshape these, put excessive strain on them. In fact, the reason that the Samsung batteries blew up was because that they manufacture them to such tight tolerances that the edges would eventually wear out and then short. Um, you need to have a little bit of margin or air of error when you're manufacturing these. And especially when you're reclaiming these from old electronics, you have to be very careful about how you're removing them. So I have a tablet here, two tablets here, and I have a whole box full of batteries, things with batteries in them that need to be removed. So uh, let's get on that. That is way too fucking overexposed. Why are you so overexposed? Let's go in. You're not going to hear me talking. <clears throat> Could have been a, quite a bit more careful on this one. You can see that the uh, casing is um, kind of crinkled up a bit. And we don't want, definitely do not want this shit. Um, but it should be okay. Nothing feels like super warm or anything. And it's not heating up. You're more than fine to move forward and snip some leads. Now you're not, you don't wanna snip these at the same time because it could short. Now there is a board on here You'll see right in here, under this tape, this is a protection board. Um, and that has <clears throat> a couple chips in here. One is for making sure that you don't overcharge and undercharge the battery. And in some cases, they'll also have short protection. So if you were to short these two leads, it wouldn't allow current to flow um, after it re reaches a certain amount of current that you're drawing. Um, Although short, short protection can be um, engineered in a multitude of ways. In this case, we have a little ribbon cable here going to our display. Do not want. All of this is for electronics recycling now. These are old and unusable tablets that I just want the batteries from. And if you're concerned, 
can always do this outside. Get another angle with this. And you can kind of see that we're kind of pushing up on it. Can't really tell. I would try to keep it as low as possible and just kind of push through it. I feel like there's not a ton on here. Which is nice. And it usually ends up being better if it's not that black tar stuff right there. But um, more like scotch double tight sided tape thin cellophane tape that makes things easier generally for reclaiming these batteries and then we'll just do this other one this one looks like there's two batteries in here and it might be a um i'm not sure whether this is a uh seven volt battery or if it's a three volt battery This one looks a little bit more solid. This one also doesn't have, seem to have a uh, capacity rating uh, stamped on it either. So we'll end up having to test what the capacity is. Unless the back side says this is the type of tape that makes things a lot easier for, for uh, reclaiming. Uh, yeah, and I don't know if these are in series or in parallel, but we'll we'll end up testing that at some point. Where'd my snips go? Always losing my snips. So I just bought a whole pack of new snips. Remember, individually clip these. Clip, clip. Try not to let your tool touch the other one. Oh, and I am bleeding. Awesome. This one is from an old MacBook. Uh, these are just some random batteries that I had around. These two are from Lamps, which I did in a previous YouTube video a couple years ago. Talked about that. And that one's okay. Honestly, to tell you the truth, I kind of want to get rid of most of these. This one has been it together 15 watt hours ATL oh, and honestly at this point I kind of want to just send these all to recycling I don't really have the space for all of these batteries or really any projects to do anything with them here's a good example of one that would be super difficult to remove and will be super difficult to remove um, these two because you can't really get under them very well um, but we're going to try that one in a second too and that brings us back to our snips and we can 
kind of just destroy this enclosure to get a flat surface to angle our scraper into there. Um, this was just a battery. See, there's two batteries in there. It's just a battery bank that I had that was found. many cases you can just start peeling off the the bottom part too underneath underneath it so that you can get better access to everything and honestly this is plenty of access to get our card in start removing it Beautiful. It's a lot easier than I expected it to be. Excellent. Another battery. Another battery. Battery. Uh, I believe these are three in series for this one, but I'll take this apart if I ever need it to need it for anything. Um, this is also, from what I understand, a pretty good battery. Okay. Very easy to kind of get those corners out. And then we have a standoff here. Careful not to puncture your battery. This looks like it might actually be glued in place. Oh no, that looks like Captain. Let's see what maniacal adhesive you have. Feels like it's doing pretty good. This one's tough. I really don't expect you to pull these out. And it, it's it's upsetting because it's easier to just fucking recycle these. It's easier to recycle these if, if you can actually remove them. It's just a lot of fucking work. Yeah, and if I start pu pulling up on it, I start getting a bow and we don't want that. Yeah, that, that shit is. Want to be careful of that. Obviously, it, it seems like it's not too big of a deal, but this, this glue is just, whatever, tape, glue, that's like carpet tape. That thing is maniacal. Uh. And that's how you do some... Battery farming.
in various forms. Um, honestly, these are going to go back in the same bin that they were living in. Uh, before we do that, I want to put some tape on our terminals here. Uh, I usually like just doing it with uh, painter tape. It's fine. Comes off easily and sticks to itself nicely. I would use Captain tape, but sometimes it just doesn't stick to itself very well. That works beautifully. And then you can kind of tape them over to themselves. I think this one might be dead. I remember trying to do something with this one. It's not in good condition. Let's pour that some. Take these to recycling. Take a few of these to recycling. I want my bigger batteries, not my smaller batteries. Now, what can you do with these? Well, I mean, you can do pretty much anything. You kind of need to match batteries to make bigger in-series cells. Uh, but if you have a whole bunch of them, uh, it shouldn't be too much of an issue to um, figure out what to do. Um, I think one of my projects is going to be kind of like a UPS for some of my Raspberry Pis and home, home automation stuff that I have hanging around here. Oh yeah, I also have a jar for um, dead batteries too, so I can always tap into that resource and make sure that these get to where they need to go. Um, pretty sure half of these are just at zero volts, so they're not going to be anywhere near the rated capacity. And then we can do some a little bit like this. Here's another way. Just stick them to the side like that. Should be good.
Beautiful. This one's already <coughs> taped together. And now I have a little collection of batteries. Hi friends. Where's my dang mouse? It's right here.